The Dinmore plant is an integral part of the JBS operation. It's the biggest beef operation in the Southern Hemisphere. It employs a lot of people and we've got a responsibility for a lot of people on every day of the week to get them to work and to get them home safely. MLA, JVS and Scott have now taken the learnings from the success in land automation and applied it to beef automation. The structure of the carcass is more complex. The sensing of key points within the carcass is also a bigger challenge for automation and objective measurement of the carcass. Oh, I'm proud to be involved in moving forward in the technology side of the, the industry. For a long time, the meat processing industry in this country has stood still and been content to do things the way they've done for many years. It's critical for MLA to be investing across the value chain, particularly in automation. It's about making sure that our beef processing sector and our industry remains globally competitive. Against prices for processing beef in Indonesia and USA and Brazil, we are a high cost manufacturer. Automation will give us the ability to remain competitive. So there was big safety concern regarding the use of the hand circular saw, particularly at the line speeds with which um, the beef processing plants operate at. The beef rib cutting system is then able to remove that requirement for manual operation using a dangerous hand tool. The system is designed to integrate with the processor's line, so carcasses pass out of the chillers and the grated before passing into the rib cutting room. The rib cutting system will then interrogate the RFID in the hook to determine for that carcass what cut spec needs to be cut. A number of sensors are then used to analyse the carcass to be able to calculate the cut coordinates used by the robot for that particular carcass. The robot will then place two cuts across the ribs before they pass out of the system. Prior to the robot going in, ribs were all cut by hand by labourers. Through that process we have had amputations. I have haven't got the rights to injure any one of our employees when they come here for a day's work. They need to go home to their families the same way as they come in every morning. This system alleviates all that employee risk. No one can be in with the robot and no one can get cut by the robot. It maximises the cut every time. If we needed a rib cut at 160 millimetres wide, it cuts every rib at 160 millimetres wide. When you've got two operators soaring one after the other and they're doing one side every 17 seconds, they're going to be 160, 140, 150, 160, 140. So the yield is consistent every time, every cut. So we not only have to deal with carcasses that vary in the range of less than 80 or so kilos to greater than 300 kilos per side. We also have variations in the numbers of ribs, the shapes of the carcasses. Because of that, there is complex sensing involved in the system. We've got a color camera, three 3D cameras, but the primary enabler for the system is really the dual energy X-ray system. Combination of all this technology, basically we find the end of the ribs and from there find the geometry and find the coordinate of those point and basically process those information, send those coordinates to the robot. Being able to invest in that technology has really solved the issue about the two hardest cutting lines on the carcass. It's been one small step in the meat industry but it's been a giant step in technology.